Generic Gene J.D. Davis here to just cap on our previous two videos on Lotto. At the end of uh, the uh, video two, I said that we'd have a look at the early days and the 40 numbered game, 45 numbered game as well. But look, here I'll just cover the 40 numbered game because it is quite interesting. In the early days, uh, Lotto was 40 numbers when I was involved with it in New South Wales in the late 70s, early 80s. and the fact that um, the odds of actually getting six straight numbers in a 40 numbered game were 38, 38, 38, 0 to 1. So that's 3,838,380 to 1. So 3.8 million to 1. So in actual fact, in to, to, if you crossed every possible six numbered combinations, you could, uh, you'd have to fill out 3.8 million coupons or game panels to take out a Division 1 win, which is not feasible. The average man is playing Lotto to try and get that kind of money, so how would he have that money to invest? And secondly, um, if your prize pool was only a million, a million and a half, doesn't even make sense. However, if the Lotto game jackpotted from one week to the next, there were no winners for two or three weeks or four or five weeks, and that prize pool of one or one and a half million jackpotted for the several weeks, and you wound up with a prize pool of five to seven million odd dollars, then crossing every six numbered combination in that uh, game, 40 numbered game, uh, a 3.8 million dollar investment would be very sound business. That's under the assumption that you're the only one to get the six numbers right. The problem you have is, is that when they do jackpot, you're going to get multiple uh, sales of uh, of, of lotto entries and multiple players because of the excitement of the jackpot. So you run the risk of having to split that jackpot with a number of other players should they win. Now this was done in the early 80s uh, by a Victorian syndicate in which they generated with a computer, wrote a computer program and filled out 3.8 million entries. Drove a semi-trailer to Sydney, lodged the entries with lotto management at Greenwich and lo and behold they took out first division. But because it was oversubscribed, so did several other players. And I think there were multiple winners. So their 3.8 million ended up showing a, a, a loss. So they actually won Lotto, but they didn't. So for their $3.8 million that they uh, invested, they may have only got one or two or two and a half million dollars back. So they lost money on the venture. I'm not sure of the exact figures, but we can, we can research them out if we have to. But the story is readily available. I think you may find it around Google, but it's a well-known documented story in the media of the time. So really, they won Lotto, but they didn't. So it's just an interesting point. Now in a 45 numbered game, those odds shoot up to get six correct numbers to 8.1 million, and any numbers beyond that, um, if you get up into the 49 numbered game, you're getting very, you know, it's not worth chatting about because it's just ridiculous. But the 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 thing is, is to keep a sound mind, enjoy your lotto as an entertainment game, but this is basically the facts as I know them and understand them over the years, and it's, it's quite pleasant. And from time to time, I might buy a ticket. Thanks for watching.